All right, so we're gonna go through some of the uh, specialized SWAT tools. Oh, so I can't put this on here. So I just did a, a Sea Otter Classic race over in Monterey, California, and uh, it was a cross country, and I had to carry some stuff. So what I like about specialized SWAT, they're taking all the tools and stuff like that, uh, tubes off your body, off your pockets, and putting it on the bike. This right here I taped to the bike. That's a 29er tube. That's just in case, just in case, you know, I rip the sidewall, I, I get a big gash where my um, tubeless sealant can't seal it up. So then I gotta put a tube in there. So um, just an absolute, you know, from out there, you know, 15, 20 miles, I really don't wanna walk back. So got that just in case. So I'm gonna take this off. I just held it on with some electrical tape. Mm. So that's the problem, I guess, if we're doing tape. So if you got to put it up on your rack, you got to play with your seat tube, your, your height, things like that. So these are some of the things I like to carry on a ride. We got a spare tube, just in case it's like a spare tube in your car or a spare tire in your car. Uh, you may not use it for years, but you know, it's, it's, you're glad you have it when it's there, when you need it. Um, so what uh, Specialized did, one of the options was the strap here. This connects to the back of their saddle, so it's specialized specific. Got to go find it at a, a retailer or their um, their shop. So this is going to hold my tube. It's going to hold my CO2 cartridge, and it's going to hold one tire lever. Um, that's what uh, one of these guys is right here. I use the Pedro's right right there. If my Pedro's fits in there, I might just swap that out. Um, and then right here, I got my Crank Brothers tool. This is the um, M19. I like this one, it's very durable. It's got a chain tool, it's got the torques on there. It's pretty easy to use if I got my gloves on, you know, out on the trail. I hate stripping everything down. I hate digging through backpacks, things like that. All I wanna do is ride. Make a quick adjustment if I need to, go from there. Um, so to kind of counter uh, a chain tool, Specialized has the EMT top cap, and this guy fits on the top cap of your stem or your part of your steer tube system. So, but that's all it is. All it is is a chain tool. I actually had to use this for the first time um, in an enduro race over at the Sea Otter Classic. And then we have a CO2 cartridge. Um, I bought the specialized head. It also has a plastic spacer. So what that's gonna allow me to do is to screw on the head to my CO2 cartridge, but without the fear of accidentally over tightening and puncturing the, the CO2 cartridge. So you can have the head connect it onto here, have it ready to go. You know, you're not gonna lose it. You don't have two pieces floating around in your bag or your pocket. Um, so you can use that to, to use that in that system. Um, what I did here is, this is, I think it's in a Lazine head. And all I did was use some blue Loctite or a thread locker, just a dab, screwed that on there, let it dry. I didn't screw it on all the way. It's, it's just tight enough to where it's not gonna fall off. But it's, and when it's ready to go, all I have to do is tighten it down some more. It's gonna puncture my CO2 cartridge. So that's, a, that's one way around it. What they did over here is with the little spacer, you could actually lose that. It's clear, you drop that in the grass, the dirt, it's gone. Head's pretty small too, but we'll get into that. And then something else I'll carry is food. We're either carrying a food bar or a little gel packet, something like that. Um, that you're putting in your pocket or maybe um, a saddle bag or something like that. Um, the alternative to a tube, uh, Specialized makes a, it's a box. I'm not sure what they call that. It's a SWAT box, but my friend has one. And that sits, it's connected to one of your water bottle cages. So it's kind of very contoured. It'll fit a tube, but it'll fit a very thin tube. It's a race light tube. It won't fit just a thick tube. That's how tight it is in there. I think it may fit a tire lever and it may fit a CO2 cartridge. I'm not sure. But we're gonna install these things um, onto uh, as much as we can onto the bike. All right, so I'm gonna start with this banded. They're calling it the banded, mountain banded. So it's specific for mountain biking. It's gonna carry a big fat tube opposed to a smaller road tube, which is gonna be much thinner and narrower. So I'm gonna open this up. Uh, it's got a nice little finish here. I'm not sure if that's uh, man-made leather or, or I doubt it's leather, but it's got an all Velcro. It's got a plastic tip right here, so it's easy to grab. Boom, just like that. And you can peel this back. And it's got that real fine Velcro, so I think that's gonna be a little bit stronger, a little bit more grippier. Right back here is all metal bracket. We got one hole, two holes. They give you the two screws that are gonna mount into your saddle, um, and that is metal. And then there's a loop right on the inside here. 
Uh, tube is going to go inside on that loop. Um, another cool little detail, if you flip this on the end, check out, take out the inside, it's got uh, a strip of that um, rubber that's kind of melted on there. So it's going to grab the tube, hold on to the tube. It's not going to just slip. So I like that little detail right there. And then right here you can see the black tire lever. So this guy, I believe it'll slide out. So it just slides out like that. So it's just enough room for one tire lever. Like I said, if my Pedro's might be a little bit thick. I can just tell by looking at it. It's too, Pedro's is too thick, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this. The reason I like the Pedro's, it's got a nice curvature to it. This one doesn't have the same type of curve. So depending on the on tire wheel, you might have issues with that, but it is double-sided. But um, hopefully the tires, the tire system setup you have is, is easy to work with. Um, it's got a little little tab right here. It is an elastic. I think it's just a grab in case you need to grab something and pull something out or shove something in. We'll find out more about this. I'm not still unclear about that. Um, and then there's an area. Let's see, where's it at? There's another area right inside here for my CO2. So it's actually right in here. So that shoves in. It is a pretty tight fit and it's kind of short, so it's only maybe getting half or two thirds of the CO2 cartridge. It actually kind of stopped right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this head off. Like I said, it did have some thread locker. Yeah, it came off. So it's gonna fit something like that. And then I got a picture here. You know what, I could have that incorrect there. There should be a spot for the head, the CO2 head. Yeah, that is correct. So the CO2 cartridge is gonna get in line next to my lever. There's a little opening right here. And again, that is a tight fit. And that should shove through. And actually, there's a catch on the back. You can see there's some, uh, there's a strap right there that's gonna catch your, the end of your CO2 cartridge. So, and then the head is gonna stay just like that. And once everything's tight, I think it should grip it and it should stay in place. Um, and then the head is actually gonna slide in the little pocket on the inside, right inside here. So if I wanted to use this head, they may have just made it big enough for their head, which is about that big. So I believe that's a design style. So let's crack this one open. Yeah, so here's the specialized head. Here's the spacer right there. So that spacer would actually go right there. So when you go to screw your head on, the head will turn and you can get it fairly tight. Hopefully it'll stay. Yeah, but this plastic spacer right here will not allow you to puncture the CO2 cartridge. When you're ready to puncture it, take the head off, take the spacer off, then you reapply your head and then go ahead and puncture. Um, definitely wanna make sure that's tight enough. Uh, you can always apply a little thread lock around there just, just as a precaution so this head doesn't want to work off because it doesn't have to turn too many times before boom, it wants to fall off. So uh, I'm going to see if this Lasagne fits in there. Actually, the vine is a, Lasagne is a bigger L. So uh, fits in there. Just the head barely sticks out, so that would probably work as well. So that's not too bad. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the specialized. Oh, that's a conundrum. So now I have the head and I have the spacer. And if we're gonna tuck the head away, then this is gonna be loose as well. So then we have two loose items in there, or we can go ahead and put some thread locker, tighten that guy up and just keep the head on at all times. So that's, I guess that's your call. So it'd be sticking out kind of like that. So depends how much of an eyesore you want. But let's take that off for now. I'm gonna shove both items in there. It's a bit cumbersome to use. Got the spacer in there. Oof. So tight fit with both spacer and head, but the head, I really can't see it sticking out. It went in pretty much all the way. Then we have room for the tube. So we're gonna use this guy here. So this is pretty much out of the box. It's still there, it's got the cap on. Uh, you always want to keep the cap on because the cap's gonna protect any sharp pieces from puncturing the tube or puncturing itself. Oh boy. So this may be easier once this is installed, but um, let's see. 
So according to the picture, looks like this is gonna go lengthwise, just like that. So the elastic piece is running this way, and then we have our strap going this way. So we actually got to put this length of tube in there in this direction. It's gonna go just like this, but this has to expand about that wide. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna be tricky. So this is a 29er tube. So it's one of the biggest ones out there. Uh, I don't believe it's a, it's not a thin or super light or anything. It's just regular standard tube. So, man, I, <laughs> if I'm out on a ride on NM, I got to uh, replace a tube with another tube and then pack my old tube back. Um, you might have to practice this a few times to get this cleanly or just throw it in your pocket. But, It'd be nice if this came out. Let's go ahead and take this out completely if it allows. Yeah, that was way easier. Hello. So, boom. So the tube is going to go this way, so the elastic's going to expand this way. That's right. And this guy's gonna come back around. So here we got our head inside there. We got our CO2 cartridge. And then we got our tire lever right behind it. So this is gonna come over, fit this head back in there. Yeah, and this has a plastic tip, so it works pretty good. And then this guy are just gonna get pretty tight. Make sure your tube is centered. I'm gonna give it every fighting chance to stay in there. Yeah, we'll just squash that guy down. Make sure that Valcor is on there nice and tight. So that's how it goes right there. And then we have this back bracket, one, two, so not too bad. That's about how big it is. So this is the top of the saddle. Here we're looking at the underneath of the saddle. Here's our saddle rails. And then we got a screw hole there and a screw hole there. So it's gonna be easier to mount this metal bracket onto the saddle without the tube in the way. So we're just gonna remove, open that up. Take that strap out all the way and then just remove from the inner strap. And I think we'll leave the CO2 cartridge there. So the two bolts they gave um, actually have some blue thread locker already dried on it. So it looks and looking good. Uh, if, you, if the thread locker doesn't look like there's enough on there, you could always apply some more. And you're gonna be using, looks like it's about a three millimeter tool. So I'm gonna grab my L tool. And I'm gonna use the ball end, get that tool started in there, and then line up your hole, and then just just a couple turns, let it sit loose, and go ahead, grab your second one, get it through the bracket, and then find the hole. And then just go ahead and tighten everything up. I didn't read the directions, there could be a torque setting. I would imagine it's like, uh, three, four, <laughs> maybe five, but just get that, you want it snug. And make sure you put it the correct direction. So I think this is the correct direction. Yeah, and then this is just gonna strap in here. Boom. Yeah, that should do it. It says SWAT running this way. So just finish tightening these up. All right, again, so there's a little pocket for our, our CO2 head. He's right inside there. And then we got a CO2 cartridge. Right next to it is our tire lever, all running crosswise. Here's our band. So this band is gonna expand this way, holding the tube. And then this is gonna come up and around. It's probably easy because the bike is in the stand, but if you're out on the trail, you gotta maybe put your old tube back in. That shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, voila. I think everything's sitting kind of in the middle. that strap comes up make sure the tube is centered it's not off to the left or to the right you want it more or less in the middle and then this thread your piece of plastic through the tip of the strap yeah there we go and I'm just gonna help everything compress so I'm pressing with my thumb in pulling down with my left Get this nice and tight and lined up. And then just give it a rub, make sure all the Velcro is adhering. 
We don't want this guy coming loose. You don't want this rattling or falling out on one of your bumpy rides. And this is a hardtail bike, so um, not, it, there's no dropper, but uh, the, the way they designed it, it might be able to handle the dropper, might be able to handle a, a trail bike. So when the suspension comes up and the tire comes up, hopefully it clears everything. Um, I don't know, gotta check that out. That's, that's good to go. Okay, and then we can just stop here and then um, we're gonna see if it's deep enough. Rather, we don't wanna go too, too far if we don't have to. So this guy's stuck in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the forward position, very gently try and get out. 